guys, Obi here and welcome to the 10k slash 11k subscriber special. So I knew I'm a little bit late with it guys, I, I am sorry, okay, don't be mad, please. Uh, what happened was is I got a new job, I got a new job and it worked me seven days in a row to start off and then the second week also worked me seven days in a row. So I had no time to really do anything and you know, you know, gameplay videos are kind of easy to make, you know, you sit down here for an hour, just end them up, but things like this. You know, gotta got put some thought into it a little bit, and, uh, no, I was just lazy. I'm sorry. I was lazy. I'm sorry. So I'm thinking what we could do here, guys, is do a video on how to start, like, a Let's Play or a gaming channel, like, how to build one, like, the do's and don'ts and the things that I learned from one subscriber up to 11,000 subscribers, because I get a lot of comments, like, Obi, will you sub to me? Obi, how do you, like, how do you grow your channel? And, uh, it would be a lot easier for me to, like, just show you guys what I do instead of like just telling y'all through like typing on the keyboard and stuff like that. So yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That'll be cool. But before I do that, before I do that, I gotta say thank you to everybody. So first, we'll start off with the Patreon subscribers. Guys, thank y'all so much for subscribing to me on the Patreons and helping me out with a few bucks every month. You have no idea. It helps tremendously. Oh, oh, and I got big news at the end of the video too. So uh, you stay there. Don't go anywhere, because the news is, is, is uh, upon us. But yeah, for my Patreon subscribers, to the normal subscribers, to just the people who just view the video and don't subscribe, I gotta thank all of y'all. Seriously, like, this is the dream. The dream is happening, guys. Okay, this is it. This is it. 11,000 subscribers. Next will be 12,000, and then 13,000, and then a million. It's just like that. Once you get 13,000, it's 13 to a million. Just like that. But no, seriously, guys, I, I probably couldn't do this. Oh, no, I couldn't do this without you guys watching supporting the comments i mean it's unreal like i still wake up every day and i think it's like a dream like it doesn't it doesn't feel real yet but i know it is because it just is because i look at the statistics and it says it is so i know it's real but enough of that guys okay so there's some rules you have to follow when you want to make a gaming channel on YouTube. And they're pretty strict and they're, they're pretty harsh. So basically, rule number one is to get an upload schedule and never freaking deviate. Even though I've been deviating a little bit, it's okay to deviate once your audience is like growing and big. But when you're small, I'm talking like between like one and a thousand subscribers and you're getting like maybe like five to 20 views per video, you, you can't mess around with this, okay? If you're going to make a gaming channel, you have to go all in. Like, it's a commitment. It's, it's like bigger than marriage. You, you, you're all in. That's it. There's no going out. And what I mean by that is YouTube is like a treadmill. You got to keep going. If you're going to start one, dudes, like you, you got to do an, a video every single day at minimum, at bare minimum. Yeah, there's other YouTubers like John Tron and Peanut Butter Gamer who make like highly elaborate videos that can do like one a month. But I'm that's like high editing stuff, and they already have such a huge following. But if you want to do a gaming channel, like a Let's Play channel, you have to upload every single day, sometimes two times a day, at minimum. If you're not uploading every single day, YouTube's algorithm goes like bonkers, and it's like, uh-oh, no, we're shutting this dude down hard. Um, I have friends. I have a lot of friends who are up to like five to... 15,000 subscribers who were growing the same rate I'm growing now, like 100 to 200 subs a day. They were doing phenomenal. And then they get like, they get complacent. They get lazy and they're like, I'm going to take a week off. That week turns into a week and a half. They come back to make a video. Uh oh, they're getting half the freaking views. They're like, and then it just like spirals out of control. Well, their YouTube channel's dying. They'll hit it hard again, like a month or so. And then they'll take another break. They don't hit it hard and take another break. And all of a sudden, they're getting like 20 views per video, like one or two subs a day, or even losing subs every single day because people think they're not serious about it. So if you're going to do it, that's rule number one. Be like all in, all in. Rule number two, you got to edit your videos, okay? And what I mean by that, hold on, let me pop open the old Sony Vegas and give you all a little quick example here. Okay, guys, so we're in Sony Vegas right now. This is what I used to edit my videos. On the top track right here, this top one right here, that's my gameplay. Then right underneath is the audio for the gameplay. And then right underneath that is my voice. Now it's really important that when you record a video that you have your gameplay and audio on one track and your voice on a separate track. That way you can edit your voice to your liking. Like I add a lot of equalization to mine, like bass boost, 
treble boost. Uh, I do a lot of no uh, noise cancellation and stuff like that. So basically right now, my gameplay and my voice audio is not synced up. So how I sync it is I'll go ahead and hit the play button first. And then I go ahead and shadow play and I turn all my camera, I make sure it's on. And then I clap my hands. Okay, see how my hands just clap like that? Let me get the exact frame here. Boom, that's where my hands touched, okay? Then I take my voice track and I drag this little spike right here. This spike right here is my clap. That's my clap and sound. So when I clap, on the camera, I want to hear that sound. So let's see if it works. See how that worked? That was perfect. Now you come over here to the start of your video and you just cut off the end right here. You don't need any of that nonsense. And there you go. Look at this. When I hit play, hold on. How's it going, everyone? And look at that. Here and welcome to so now my audio and my gameplay is synced. That's cool. That's what most people do. So I got the front of the video cut off. I go out to the back here and I cut off the back. I actually do this at the very end of my editing process, but I'm just showing you a brief example of what a lot of people do. So that's what they'll do. They'll sync it, they'll cut off the front, they'll cut off the back, and that's it. And that's all the editing a lot of people will do. But I'm here to show you, like, that's wrong. Okay, yeah, you could play, like, an episode of Skyrim where you talk from, like, beginning to end with absolutely no edits. But that's not what's going good on YouTube right now. What's, what's good on YouTube is highlight videos. You want to just cut out the fat. See all this, like, empty, like, space right here? That's me not talking. That's just me running around doing non like nonsense. Look. And then you got over here, just doing nonsense again. Just playing around. So this is what a normal video looks like after I'm done editing it. And it's a lot of jump cuts. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy. This is a smaller one. Um, this is the latest Brick Rigs video that I just released uh, last night. It's a smaller one. Not a lot of cuts. I mean, I've had things that look so freaking choppy and thick things everywhere. So I guess the point I'm trying to make here is Edit your videos, edit your freaking videos. Don't just record for an hour and then cut off the like beginning and the end and throw it on YouTube. No, edit it. It's, it's a chore. It is a chore. It takes a lot of time to learn. It's very tedious at the start, but once you get into the hang of it, you can knock it out like quick. You, you can be really fast with it and it makes a gigantic difference, trust me. So we got rule number one, guys. Upload every freaking day, sometimes twice a day if you can handle it. Rule number two, edit your freaking videos. Rule number three, rule number three, it's called SEO. And this might be the most important thing after you get a video uploaded onto YouTube, okay? This is extremely important. What SEO is, is search engine optimization. This is how people are gonna find you when they search for a specific game. So this is my four x four road race video. It did okay, uh, the game wasn't very popular. Not a lot of people are searching for it. So you can't expect too much here. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at my title real quick. So you probably noticed in my title, I have 4x4 Road Race, the game name. Then I have just a generic title here. I didn't know what to put here. Uh, it's just a title. Whatever you want, whatever happens in the video here, I wasn't too sure. Oh, it shrunk down. Let me hit cancel real quick. And then over here, you probably notice 4x4 Road Race Gameplay and Review. Okay, so I have the game title in my YouTube title twice. I have the word gameplay in there and I have the word review in there as well. These are keywords. So when people type in 4x4 Road Race Gameplay, you're probably going to pop up if your YouTube channel ranks high enough, or it's, gonna, it's definitely going to help it pop up more. Your title is like a super tag. That's the most important thing you can do for your video. You want your title to have your game name probably twice. If you, know, if you go look at my YouTube page and look at any of my titles, all of them have my gameplay game name in there twice. Into the door, gameplay or let's play or highlights and reviews. Keywords. You want freaking keywords. Then the description. The description is the second most important part of your video, guys. Let's go, go ahead and uh, pop this bad boy open real quick. Oh, it's gonna load real quick. Go to my editing thing over here. I'm gonna drag this open like so. Now this, this was a smaller description box. I normally try to fill in like at least four to 5,000 characters in this box. This one, it says I have 1,600. So that's pretty small, but if I hold, if I hold uh, Control F here and I type in the game name 4x4 Road Race, you can see I put it in here quite a bit. All the yellow ones are me like putting it in there. Mm -hmm. So that's important, guys. You definitely want to have that in there a lot. The game title anyways. Gameplay, you want the word gameplay in there as much as possible too. I heard it's important to have it in here like 20 plus times. Um, you got to make it make sense. You don't want to spam tags everywhere because that YouTube might penalize you for that. At least that's what people say anyways. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I don't know. Just uh. Just know that it's possible. If you put like this, like if I just take like four by four road race here 
and go to the bottom of my thing and start. Oh, let me move that real quick and just do like this. I don't know what's going to happen. The video might pop up to like PewDiePie status. I don't know. Or YouTube might just ban me. I don't know. I don't know what happened, guys, but <laughs> so just take that for a grain of salt or whatever. So down here, guys, we have our tags. And what I see a lot of people do, for example, let me type some in here. I'll see them do like, let's play road race game play beautiful OB. That's not going to work. That's not how you do tags at all. What you want to put in here is things that people will search for. Oop, close all these. Hold on. Get, get out of here. They're distracting me. So like people might search for the game name. So I have 4x4 road race. People might search for 4x4 road race gameplay. This is things that you would type into YouTube if you was looking for this specific video here. 4x4 road race review because it's a brand new game. People might want a review of it. I got road race in here just in case. Uh, road race gameplay because a lot of people might leave the 4x4 out and just type in road race. So you got to... um. You got to like calculate it. You know, you got to take in, take in for like example, uh, people might misspell it. Like if I go to my analytics, analytics over here, let me show you real quick. So this is my analytics. When this is what people type into YouTube to find my channel. At the very top, we have Brick Rigs, of course. Beautiful OB second. Um, let's see here. I noticed some misspelled ones here. Like we got beautiful O-N. That's a mistypo right there. A lot of people misspell beautiful. I'm starting to realize that might be kind of a complicated word to spell, especially for the... Younger people, we got we got butterful ob, beautiful spell wrong here, brick rigs Dutch. Oh, that's definitely not my channel. <laughs> so I guess what I'm trying to say is, guys, if you're like, if you're running out of tags to use, uh, misspell your own game name. Like um, like I guess brick. If you're like four years old and you look for brick rigs, you might spell a b r i k, brick rigs, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um. Only if you run out of tags, though. That's like a, it's kind of like a last resort kind of thing. But it's something to note. Um, it is something that could help you out later on. So, okay, let's move on from that. Let me get, get out of there. Get out of there, you. Rule number four, avoid shoutouts and avoid sub for subs. Because that is the number one way to kill your own YouTube channel. Say, for example, Graystal Place, who's a very big and popular YouTuber, said, Hey, shout out to beautiful OB. Everybody go sub to him. And like... 2,000 people come over here to sub. Now, they're only coming over here to sub because Gray Still Plays is their favorite YouTuber, and they're just making him happy. And um, they're over here just, just doing what he said, you know? That's what they're doing. So what's going to happen is I'm going to get like one or two more thousand subscribers, but they're not going to watch my videos. So all of a sudden, I'm sitting here with 2,000 subs, still getting like 10 to 20 views per video. And then YouTube's like, whoa, that looks awful. This guy is not popular at all. And then a YouTube algorithm is going to stop promoting me. It's going to slam me into the ground and I'm going to get stuck into like this black hole that's almost impossible to climb out of. I mean, there's sub for sub channels out there, guys, that are sitting like 10 to 50,000 subscribers and only getting like 100 views per video. They're never, ever going to grow. YouTube's algorithm is never going to let that channel grow. They're stuck forever. They might as well start over. It's, it's pointless. They, they can't get out of it. It's, it's a trap. It's a scary trap. YouTube is also pretty finicky as well when it comes to videos. I know I get like, like 20 to 30 requests to play different games every single day. And as much as I would love to oblige and play a lot of these games, I mean, I got to pick what's going to be good for the channel. Say I upload like, I don't know, say someone tells me to play like Ninja Turtles from the Super Nintendo or something, and I play it and it gets like one or 200 views, which it probably will, because no one's searching for that. No one's looking for Ninja Turtles, guys, okay? And let's just say I decide to do, I don't know, Mickey Mouse next or something like that, and I just play all these like really low, unpopular games in succession, and I only get like one or 200 views per video for like a month or something like that, that's going to destroy the channel too. YouTube's algorithm's going to be like, oh, he's no longer viable, get rid of him. And it's harsh. YouTube is freaking scary guys it's terrifying actually so what i do and how i pick my videos is i go to my video manager over here and i look at what's been doing good recently like we already know brick Riggs is doing phenomenal brick Riggs is doing good jalopy's doing pretty good as well um any basically any brand new racing game i do on a channel is gonna do good um if i did more gameplay on 4x4 the next one's probably gonna get like 800 views and then 500 views and it's just gonna die out see like pit people 600 views that's why i stopped doing those videos they weren't any good. 15 thumbs up, 600 views. Um, if I keep on that track right there, the algorithm is going to hit me pretty freaking hard. Same with Hello Neighbor, 800 views. The, the video has been up since January 7th. It's just, it's stagnant. It's not going anywhere. I just don't do well in these games. 
Astro Deer was doing kind of on a on an iffiness here. See, like Slime Rancher even started to go bad. Slime Rancher started off pretty strong and it started to go downhill pretty quickly. Plus, I ran out of content in that game. There's only so much you could do in Slime Rancher. It just it runs out, guys. So you just have to you have to be aware. If you make a video, you start a series on something and it starts doing really bad. If you don't have a gigantic audience, I mean, just jump to the next thing. It, it's it's not good to leave a playthrough unfinished, but it's better to leave a playthrough unfinished than it is to tell YouTube's algorithm that you're no longer viable and that no one likes you. So rule number five, your equipment. So when I started uh, YouTube videos, I started with my headset mic and then I moved over to the Blue Snowball, which is a fantastic starting mic, but it wasn't good enough for me. I wanted a condenser mic. So, uh oh, I boosted up to the BMW. 1500. I'm sorry, it's the NW1500. It's a condenser mic. It plugs into my Scarlet box over here. Let me see if I can grab it real quick. No, I can't grab it because it's too plugged in right now and I don't want to unplug it while I'm recording because that's going to cause a whole load of mess, but I'll show a picture of it anyways. So I got these two mics here. This one was 45 bucks when I bought it. This one was also 45 bucks when I bought it. And then I decided, you know what? I want something even better. So I ended up buying the AT2020, which is a condenser mic, which is really freaking good. And this one sent me back about a hundred bucks, I believe. Let me put these down real quick. I'm still not happy with it. And the reason being is because condenser mics pick up everything in the room, like all the spitty sounds of my mouth, which I have to edit out during like noise gates and noise cancellation and stuff like that. Um, it's just not the mic for me. What I should have done was instead of spending like 150 bucks on, or I'm sorry, 200 bucks on like mediocre mics, is I should have just spent 200 bucks altogether on a big mic. So I guess what I'm trying to say is guys, if you have the opportunity to upgrade a piece of hardware, don't just go for like the next one in line, get something big, get something that's gonna work for you. So my problem was, is when I want an upgrade, I want it now, regardless of how much money I have. So I had an extra hundred bucks, so I went ahead and bought a hundred dollar mic. What I should have done was I should have just waited. I should have waited an extra month or something, just used my poopy microphone for an extra month and then bought the mic that I really wanted the audio interface that I really wanted. So here I am guys with the AT2020, I got the NW1500, I got the blue snowball down there, I got the Focusrite Scarlet box over here, and you know what? I'm upgrading it all. So eventually I'm gonna have three microphones in another interface box that I just don't need, because I didn't want to spend the extra money at the time, but I should have, because I'm gonna spend it now anyways. Does that make sense? Of course guys, if you're still pretty new to YouTube, I'd say less than a year in, and you're still kind of like on a fence about it, I wouldn't upgrade just yet. I see a lot of channels that will like, they'll buy like the best things they can afford. Like I'm talking like $500 microphones and audio interfaces and stuff like that. They'll do YouTube for like, I don't know, six or seven months and then they'll be like, uh oh, this isn't for me. I don't want to do this anymore. And then they're stuck with all this audio equipment that has no use. So yeah, guys, I guess what I'm trying to say here is don't spend too much money on YouTube until you know you're in it, until you know you're going to be here for the long haul. Like I know I'm going to be here until YouTube dies or my channel dies, okay? I'm gonna be here for many years to come. And uh, I think I'm at the point where now I can justify spending like, like maybe 500 bucks on like audio equipment that I want. But back in the day, back in the day when I had like 100, 200 subscribers, no, absolutely not. My little poopy microphone, that dad was gonna have to do. And it did, and it did do. So yeah, that's rule number five. Are we on five? Don't spend too much money until you know you're in YouTube. That sounds good. That sounds right. That's a good rule. Yeah, save your money, buy more games. So the next thing I wanna talk about here, guys, is confidence, anxiety issues, being shy. I mean, if you watch my newer videos now, obviously I'm not too freaking shy anymore. I don't give a darn who hears me because I'm screaming at the top of my lungs like a little child all freaking day. Okay, it doesn't matter anymore. But back in the day, back in the day, I was extremely nervous. So I'm gonna open up one of my videos here, probably. Let's play Maniac Mansion part one. Let's do it. So here we are guys in Let's Play Maniac Mansion part one. Now I fast forwarded to 16 seconds because I had no words to say up until this point apparently. So I'm just gonna hit play here. What's up everybody? My name's OB and welcome to my Let's Play of Maniac now, Mansion. Now you can already see I'm pretty awkward and nervous. I don't even know what I'm saying. Boop. Did I just curse? I might've cursed. Gonna... Boop. Sounds I did curse. Nervous. I'm gonna bleep that out. I'm sorry. I used to curse a lot. A whole lot. Look at me. I don't even have to do. I'm just sitting here. Boop. Stop cursing, OB. What are you doing? Them six sick beats. Mm-hmm. 
That was a good song though. That that, that was awesome slip beats. Yeah. I agree, OB. That, all right. All right, all right, is right. <laughs> so this game is, uh, it is what? This game's pretty old. No, you I think? I think it came out in 1987. I could be wrong. I looked it up. I was Maybe not wrong. I'm I was not right. Sure. You were sure. I shut up. It's a LucasArts game. Uh, uh huh. It's kind of like a point and click adventure game. It is a point and click. It's not kind of like one. But it's so well made. It is. It's really He's good. He's got that right. It's just, it's phenomenal. If you haven't played it, I definitely highly recommend you go check it out because it's awesome. There's so many little things you can do in this game, like secrets and different ways to beat it. There's so much going on. No, duh. But, Every uh, game is like that. Anyways, <laughs> Every game has ways to beat it. What about is, you play as Dave. That's this guy. You're not and wrong. And his girlfriend, Sandy, has been kidnapped. And okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna stop it right there, guys. You can already tell that I'm pretty, uh, pretty mild. I guess, is, is that the word? Mild? I don't know. I have, like, no enthusiasm at all. <laughs> like, I'm reading from a script. I'm not. I don't read from scripts. But, uh, you would think I was a really poorly written one. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Sorry guys, it's like my brain just shut down. Okay, I watched this video here and then I just, what was I doing? I don't know, but that's the point I'm trying to make. Your oldest stuff is gonna be bad. I mean, it's just gonna be bad. Just nothing you can do about it. You gotta start somewhere, guys. I mean, take a look at my freaking thumbnails, guys. I mean, I got this picture from Google Images and then I used some very poor font to put Let's Play Part 1. No one's gonna click on that. If I seen this pop up in PewDiePie's recommendation section right there, I would not click on that because it just looks ugly. And then of course, as time went on, I started getting a little template here. I started putting my little self right here in the corner with my part number up there. I thought it looked pretty cool. And then I kept it up for a freaking long time. And then guys, I started getting a bit fancy. I kept my guy there, but I started doing this thing with the numbers here to kind of make it a little 3D-ish, okay? Uh, I took like a day off and I learned more about Photoshop and I started doing things like that. Then I started coloring the background on my guy's portrait a little bit. You see that? Little by little, I updated one thing at a time. And then I got over here to see this forest one, episode five. I kind of switched to that format for a little bit to see if that would work for me. See, everything started kind of going that way a little bit. It was kind of getting all over the place here. I didn't know what I was doing. And then I got to the point where I was like, these thumbnails are boring. Let's try doing a different picture for every single game. So I got Shadow of Mordor has a different screenshot in the background. Every single video has its own. Same with Darkest Dungeon, we got little characters here, different characters and stuff like that. I started to get a little bit more advanced. I started putting a little bit more pride into it. And then I guess I went back to the Dark Souls 3 thing, just changing the numbers at the bottom here. I got lazy again. And that's not what you wanna do. When you're doing YouTube, you do not wanna get freaking lazy, okay? It's all in, it's all in. It's 100% from like the beginning to the end. You gotta keep going and you gotta get better and better. You can't get stagnated. So it was about this point right here, about seven months ago, I decided, you know what? Let's, let's get even more advanced here. So at this point, guys, we're about seven months ago from this day here, and I decided to get a little bit more fancy. I started adding more screenshots in the background here. I started trying different kind of fonts, different kind of techniques here. I didn't know what would work. I didn't know what would stand out. I started having little borders around my videos here to make the font look kind of 3D-ish. It kind of worked, but then looking back at it, I think it's horrendous now. I think it's very ugly and I wouldn't click on it. And then I switched to this colorful, bright font thing here. I don't, I don't really know what I was doing here. I don't like it anymore. At the time, I loved it though. I thought it was amazing at the time. So that's why I did it for almost like 300 videos or something crazy. Look at this, this is nonsense. And now here we are three months ago, which is four months after I started using all this nonsense right here. I decided, you know what? I gotta do better, okay? I can't sit here and gain two subscribers a day and only get like 10 views per video. I got to do better. And that's when I started learning more about Photoshop. You start to see, I kind of got the 3D thing going on here with the game images here. I started like taking screenshots from the games and everything like that. I started just, I started applying myself more. And, and that's the thing with YouTube guys, you gotta give yourself the freedom to experiment because you don't know what's gonna work for you. And when I started my channel almost two years ago, did, did I think I was gonna be a kid's channel? No, no way did I ever think that guys. If you watched any of my older videos, it's, Nothing but curse words the entire time. It's just curse words everywhere. But now, now I look down on that stuff. I don't like it anymore. I even thought about going back and putting all my older videos on private just because of the swearing in them. But I was told not to do that. So I'm going to leave them up. But I don't know. It's just, you, you gotta, you just gotta go with it. You know, something works. You just go with it. You grab a hole and go. So let's go ahead and recap just a little bit, guys. So daily uploads, extremely important. If you gotta miss a day, freaking miss a day, but hop back on it. Don't miss a week. Don't miss, definitely don't miss a month. That's 
that'll destroy you like instantly. Definitely, <laughs> if you have to miss a day, that's fine, but don't miss any more than that. I highly recommend that anyways. Keep your SEO pretty tight. Don't spend too much money on equipment until you're ready, until you know you're into YouTube, until you know you know, you're ready to go all in. And give yourself the freedom to experiment, guys. Like, try different techniques. Try face cam. Try no face cam. Try, like, editing face cams where you're, like, popping all over the place. Like, go watch 8-Bit Ryan's videos, guys. His face cam is, like, here, and then it's here, and then it's over there, and then it's, like, twirling across the screen like this. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. But it's awesome. He does such a freaking good job with it. I, I love watching it. So the very last thing I have to say, guys, is there's always a new game that's gonna be big. And you have to keep your eyes open for it. So I'm gonna show you what I do and how I stay on top of like all these trends and stuff like that. So the first thing I do guys is I pop open Steam, I come over here to the new release section and I hit all new releases. And I see if anything has come out today, just like just now, that might be really good to record and jump ahead of the game on. Right now I'm looking at 365 days, um, it's $8.99, it's just another survival game. It has mostly negative reviews, so I'm probably gonna pass on that one. And then of course, this is all the games that came out today. Uh, these three right here came out on the fourth. These top three ones right here. Ezra of Strangers, I think I already looked at this one. It's not too good looking. Yeah, it's a 2D platformer with an alien or something. I'm not too sure, but it has negative reviews here. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and pass on that one as well. Now something that's really important, and this is how I found Brickford's, and this is the main thing that grew my channel is, I went to the upcoming section here, and then I went to upcoming releases. And I spend maybe like 30 minutes to an hour almost every single day going through every single upcoming game. Like this one, Ignition, I'm highly thinking about doing this one. It comes out on the 6th, which is tomorrow. It's another racing game. Racing games do really well on my channel. It looks pretty cool. I'm gonna try it out probably. I'm gonna see if I can get a key from the developer. If not, and it's like, I don't know, a few bucks, which it probably will be. I'll give it a shot. You get games like Splasher here. I don't think that's going to be any fun for me. Looks like some kind of a 2D challenge and platform. Looks okay, but it's probably not going to do too great on my channel. Plus, it looks like a rage game, and that's something that's... That I don't do good with those. I don't do very good with those. So this is what I do, guys. This is what I do. I go through all the pages here. I keep going. I look for car games. It looks like something that's going to... I look for something that's really going to stick out on YouTube. You, you kind of get a sense for it after a while. Like, to be honest, I knew about Brick Rigs like three or four weeks before it came out. And I was one of the only people to know about it at the time. I saw it, like the devs wasn't promoting it. It was hidden way back in the upcoming section. So what I did is I took a big gamble. I knew the game was coming out around 2 p.m. ish my time. So what I did was I left work about two hours early. Basically took the day off almost. And uh, I rushed home, bought it soon as it came out. And I recorded it and I uploaded the video of it and boom, that was it. That's history right there. Boom. That's how my channel grew. Since I was the first person to upload a video on it, soon as Dragas did it and Blitzkriegers did it and Graceful Plays did it, I ended up in their recommend recommendationed section of their channel. And that's how the majority of you people found me. That's like, that's what happened. So when Dragas's video was getting millions of views, thousands of them were trickling to my video. And then, you know, a certain percentage of those thousands were subscribing to my channel, and then YouTube's algorithm kind of like skyrocketed me up a little bit, thought I was doing pretty decent, and it gave me a chance, and that's where I'm at now, guys. So, that's what I'm trying to say here is, uh, keep your eyes open for new games. Like, if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel, keep your eyes open. Do you guys see anything good here? Do you guys see anything good in here? I don't know. What is this? Ultimate Russian Zombie Rush? Guys? No. This is not the game for me. This is not it. But it could have been. You don't know that. Yeah, like, check out this one, guys. It's called Inner Space. I found it on page 27 of the upcoming game. It comes out in fall 2017. It looks interesting. I'm not sure what it's about. It's an Inner Space is an exploration flying game set in the world where physics are inverted. So that might be pretty cool. Whoops, where'd it go? <laughs> that might be pretty cool. I might check this one on the channel when it comes out. I don't know. We'll see at the time. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Um, That's everything I've used and learned so far to grow my channel. If you have any questions, absolutely. Let me know down in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer anything you guys ask. Oh, for the special news, guys, is I want to say since I started a new job and the YouTube revenue has been very generous to me these past few months here, I'm going to be updating all my stuff, okay? I'm going to be getting a brand new mic. It's going to be a dynamic mic, which means it's going to work better for me. Uh, dynamic mics aren't the best for everybody. Some people like swear up and down about condensers, but for my mouth, my usage a dynamic would be much better for me i'm also going to be getting a new interface so i'm going to have like just much better sound quality guys the audio is going to be so much better i'm getting foam in here too okay 
Right now I have blankets and towels hanging up on the walls right here and it's not doing a job right because I have a lot of dead space on the wall still because I ran out of blankets. The foam is coming guys so the, the audio is just going to be, it's going to be top notch. It's going to be great. I'm also going to be getting a second monitor in here. It's, it's just going to be better. It's just going to be better stuff guys. So I'm very excited about that. I can't wait for it. Uh, I hope you guys stick around for that because it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good audio qualities and stuff like that. I can scream even louder. I can scream woo so loud and the mic won't clip. I don't have to tone it down too much or anything like that. It's going to be good. It's going to be good stuff. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to say thank you once again from the Patreon subscribers who help me with money every single month to the normal subscribers and the viewers who just watch my videos in general. Guys, thank you all so freaking much. Okay, I love you all. This is, this is like a dream come true. It really freaking is. Um, I never thought this would happen to me. Like that my channel would grow past like 500 subs, at least. I mean, it still doesn't feel real. It still doesn't feel real, but here it is. <laughs> We're doing it. So yeah, guys, like I said earlier, if you have any questions or anything, drop them down in the comments below and I'll answer basically anything. Okay, you ask me a question, I'm gonna answer it. Just don't ask anything too, too personal. Like, don't ask my address, because that'd be weird. You guys might be crazy. I don't know. You guys crazy? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> all right, guys, if you like this video, please think about leaving a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next video.